what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to make floating decoy or goose decoys from shells. And uh, what you're going to need is some screws, uh, preferably black, so they don't reflect. Um, these are fine, fine drywall screws. Um, a square, a tape measure, a pencil, a drill, a drill bit. A one by two by eight board, a uh, three quarter by eleven by eight board. And it'll be in eight feet, and you, if you cut it right, uh, you only need one board. So step one is to uh, place your decoy on the board, and take your pencil and you draw it out. Uh, I'll stop at about where the tail feathers start right here and go all the way around from there. And then once you cut it out you'll end up with something like this. Uh, I used a, scroll, a chop saw to uh, chop it to length and then I took a scroll saw or you could use a jigsaw to cut it around and uh, this board is uh, 15 and a half inches long sorry I couldn't do that one-handed. Um, just kind of as a rough reference. Then once you do that, you cut all those out. I like to go ahead and cut them all out. This will, this board right here will make six, um, just as an FYI. Uh, so if you want to do a dozen, you need two of them. But this will do six if you cut it out to this length here. Next, you're going to want to take your one by two by eight and uh, cut it into foot sections. Uh, now I like to, I like to Texas rig my uh, decoys, so I cut my keel out for more of a Texas rig style uh, setup, and I went ahead and put one in the back, a hole in the back, and a hole in the front, so you can string them up from the back and the front. I like to do uh, a couple strung in the back, a couple strung in the front. Front gives them kind of more of a, a little bit more of a realistic spread look. Um, your spread a little more realistic. So, but if you want to, uh, you know, go like the traditional way of wrapping your string around the, the keel, you can cut a little notch here instead. And so to cut the, the keel out so you can have like a, a mounting point for your screw there, real easy, is I came in an inch and marked out an inch, took my square, you know, squared it off and marked down. So I had one line going this way. And then what I did was I, I decided how big I wanted this piece. And uh, so what I did then was come down, you know, about an inch again and marked it, you know, this way. And so then when my points intersected, I just took my jigsaw, or actually my scroll saw, cut in and cut out like that. And uh, once you do that, cut the do the same to the other side. Now you have a pattern, and now you can just trace all your your keels out really quickly. Uh, next, you're going to want to put your your drill bit in your drill. Uh, I think this is a quarter inch drill bit. I'm not 100% sure it, it matched my decoy line. Uh, with the, and had a little spare, so uh, yeah, you just come in. Sorry, don't drill that quite yet. Come in and drill that there, and drill over here. And how I got these holes here was uh, put my measuring tape back on there, and then I came in half an inch and. Uh, you know, I got it. I got it in the middle of the board, or tried to, but I came over about an inch and a half, so there'd be half an inch from the gap here for my decoy line. Alrighty, so what I did next was I uh, took my square here, and I had a flat spot on the front right here. Laid that down, you know. Halfway in the flat spot, drew my line right there just to kind of give me a reference point. And because these are not perfectly made, 
Uh, you kind of have to eyeball it to put it in the middle. So it's somewhere about like right in there. Alrighty, now that you've got your board uh, laid about where you want it, your keel I mean, you're going to want to take your screw and hopefully Alrighty, now that you got your keel laid where you want it, you're going to want to take your screw, take your drill, drop it there. Turn it down. So, now the keel is on the base. Go ahead and finish that on the rest of them. So now I've got my uh, duck bodies, or goose bodies, sorry, all coated with a water sealer. Uh, hopefully they'll last longer. And so they just press in like that. Next you're going to need a couple small screws, uh, more than this, but um, and your drill. And we're going to drill along the sides of this board while it's in the goose decoy. So I uh, got started here, and right there, and two in the back, I'm just going to put one in each side. Now just attach the head. And here's a floating uh, sleeper decoy. I got six of these off of Amazon, real cheap. And uh, but they're all sleepers, but you can buy different heads for them separately. So that's nice. And, uh, there it is. And you can Texas rig them in the front or the back. Uh, I'll be in a river um, hunting these so I want some in the back and the front so that makes them a little more lifelike anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video and I'll uh, learn something here all right I'll catch you guys later bye